morning to you, 618 here on our Tuesday. I'm with my dear friend, director, actress extraordinaire, uh, Kara Wilder with us here in the studio. Thank Kara, you. this is so exciting to have you here because Thanks. normally you tell us about a fun show where you're on stage, now mm -hmm. you're directing yes. this really cool show, yeah. Howl, a Montana love story. Right. Tell us a little bit about this show. Okay, well my friend, playwright Allison Adams, who is from Virginia City, wrote this play about 10 years ago. Oh wow. Or even longer ago, because it's based on the uh, Yellowstone National Park wolf reintroduction of oh. 1995, um, which really sort of was very controversial and, you know, probably caused a lot of uh, arguments in our area, um, people on both sides of the issue, people you know, favoring wolves being re reintroduced to the park and people against it. So she took that sort of uh, nugget of news and um, built a story around it. And so it's based on actual events. Um, it's not, you know, like a, it's not all true, but it's a, uh, it's a cool story about um, a town that is very near, it's a fictional town in Montana that's near the entrance to the park and um, these folks get together at the bar and there's like a little one room cabin and so it's locales that people can relate to and characters they can relate to um, and they talk about what's going on in their, their community regarding the wolves. There's a love story in it of course because that's sort of the, the um, main story is this couple that's um, on either side of the issue. Oh. So we do try to, we try to present, she tries to present in the story both sides um, equally. Okay, so yeah. we're not, you know, heavily weighed on one side or the other. Totally, that's a big, that's a big part of it because then yeah. people say, well, what about this, what about this? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it is two nights only, Friday right. and Saturday, up in Big Sky, Big Sky. the Warren Miller Performing Arts yeah, Center. Yeah, beautiful. You love that place. Oh yeah. Yeah. What a gorgeous facility. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's nice and close to Yellowstone National Park, so that makes perfect sense. That's right. Yeah. It's the right location. Um, John Zirkel, who runs the, the center, asked me a while ago to direct something. And he said, well, you can direct whatever you want. And this is for their community theater. So yeah. it's community actors. And they, you know, they really take ownership of this. And there's some really good talent up there. And um, so I thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity. He said, you know, do what you want. And I said, okay, we're going <laughs> to do this Montana play. I love that. And it's not only um, a play, it's, it's comedy, it's drama, but it's also got music. So we've mm. got some live music in the play oh, as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say this because I think this is so fascinating. Yeah. The lead actress, the yes. lead actor that, that you've worked with before up on Montana State's campus, right. up in the Black Box Theater when you did Spring Awakening up there, we covered right. that story, it was a wonderful musical there. Yeah. But her name is Kaylee Anderson, and correct nope. me? No. Armstrong. Armstrong. <laughs> Kaylee Armstrong, excuse right. me, excuse mm -hmm. me. And she is the granddaughter of Neil Armstrong. That's right. Yeah. It's so exciting. Yeah, she's Neil Armstrong's granddaughter. That's so <laughs> She's great. very modest about that, but... Um, she was featured, they just did a, a documentary about Armstrong called Armstrong. Right. And her father, Mark, wrote a song that she sings at the end of it and um, he sings back up and, and um, they actually took it to the Kennedy Center and Carnegie Hall this summer. Wow. She's got an amazing voice and she's a great young actress as well. Well, I wouldn't even think in the Armstrong lineage that they're such thespians and, and <laughs> musicians. I think that's Oh so yeah, neat. they're very actually a very musical family, it turns out. Well, Kara, before we go to a yeah. quick break, tell us how we get tickets for Friday and Saturday night. Um, so Friday night is 7 o'clock, Saturday is at 5 for people coming from out of town. Oh, okay, great. A little earlier. And you can go to uh, the Warren Miller Performing Arts Center.org. So it's warrenmillerpac.org. Got you. Yeah. Kara Wilder, our director with us here, <laughs> Howell, the Mo a Montana love story yeah. this Friday and Saturday. I love it. Can't wait to check it out. Yeah. Kara Wilder with us. Thank we have to take a quick break. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.